officially done with algebra one. Man, that was hard. Six months of treacherous algebra one math, and I'm finally done. I can take this algebra one notebook and I can open the trash and I'm gonna throw it in there. Done. Three notebooks left on my desk, which means I only have three courses left. I'm almost done with this one. I'm gonna take that exam tomorrow. And I'm almost to the end of this one, so I can take them for that. And then I just gotta work on this one, which I'm almost done with too. I don't know if that made much sense, you guys. But I'm almost done with online school. I am like so happy. Like, I kind of feel bad for the rest of the kids that are having to do online school. Like, that have been doing regular school all this year. But I love it. I'm like, my life hasn't changed very much because of this coronavirus thing. But, you know, it has for other people. And... I feel for you guys, but I'm almost done and I'm super happy with my life. Also, once I'm done with, completely done with my online school, I'll make a video about that and like, I'll tell you guys what my online experience was like and you know, what I think about it. Um, I kind of had mixed emotions about whether to do online school or not, but I'm really glad I did. Although I'm gonna go back to high school next year or brick and mortar school next year, I'm glad that I did it, and it was a good experience. Gotta go let the horses out. I've been letting them eat in the barn, because if I open the door to let them out, they'll go out and they won't come in the barn the rest of the day, because they're not used to self-regulating. Like, if I leave them out, they will not come back to the barn, because where they were before, their owner had to walk them to and from the barn. It's kind of, it's kind of taking getting some used to, to get them used to know, hey, they can come to the barn whenever they want. Hey guys. You guys are a little dirty. Yeah, it's been wet, soggy. Oh, he's gonna take a poop. Hey, Trevette, you are muddy. I literally brought, brushed you guys so much yesterday. Yeah, get all muddy again. Hey, Applejack. Hey, buddy. Yeah, hey, buddy. You ate your breakfast pretty good and put all your hay in your water. Yeah, good job. It's so discouraging. Yesterday, brought him over to Jay's bar and we brushed them. Put actually put some saddles on, which I'm. I don't know. I might try to buy, order some parts or like a girth, some girth, and maybe like a bit and some a bridle, maybe some reins. Maybe we'll start saddle training them here in a month or something. But yeah, I was thinking about that. But we brushed them all up and then we put them back in the field and they just rolled. So it's hard to keep them clean. Yeah. You guys want me to open the door for you, and I'll let you guys outside. You guys, go. This is going to be funny. They're going to take off here in a sec. It's really cool. There they go. They'll make a lap around the field, and then they'll go to their corner and stay there all day. <laughs> They're so fast. I can't wait. I, I really want to drive them, but I don't really have anything to drive them with, and... I've been looking at some harnesses and stuff, but they're kind of expensive and I don't really want to buy one right now. I mean, they have that harness that he gave me, but I don't really want to use that. It's kind of scary. And so, I might just try to saddle train them. Now comes the best part of my morning. Cleaning the stalls. It's the best. Come along with me on this shitty journey to clean this shitty barn. Now only if it took as long as it appeared on the camera. Done now. All I have to do is refill their water buckets and then we should be good. My dad went to the store, got me some more grain for my horses. They went through a lot of grain like the first week that they were here just because they weren't eating a lot of hay so I gave them, they weren't really eating at all so I gave them more grain so they would at least, you know, keep weight on them and stuff like that. And then he also picked me up a girth because Jay gave me a couple saddles or said I can use some of those saddles that he has, but the girth doesn't fit, so yeah. I picked up a different girth, and I also got a bridle with a snapple bit, so yeah. That should work pretty good for riding whenever I decide to ride them. And also, I got some reins too, it's just some rope reins, I don't know. I was gonna get some 
leather ones, but these were the cheapest, and I was just getting something to get me started. I was thinking about maybe going and put one of those saddles on and trying this girth out, but I think it's supposed to rain today, so I might wait till tomorrow and maybe bring Applejack over there and try him out on it. Take, I, I want to start maybe by just like walking him around with it or taking him somewhere like enclosed where he can run around with a saddle on and stuff like that before I even put the bit in anything. And... Hey, Killian. Hey, Killian. Queen has her halter on, so she might have done something bad or she's hurt. Are you okay, Queenie? Are you okay? I don't know what she did. I'll have to ask Jay later. Maybe, I think she made it, might have escaped or done something, I don't know. I can't tell. Hey chickens! Hey ch ch chickens! cock a doo -doo. Uh uh, no! Just because I pet them, doesn't mean you need to bite them. Chickens really like this new enclosure that they got here. We can let them out all the time. Sometimes we shut the door at night just because. We actually saw a fox right over there by those blueberry bush mini the other night and, or the other morning and the door is open and the fox didn't come get him, which is good, but we gotta be careful about that. I wanted to give you guys an update on the hurt duck. He's looking better. His leg's still broken, but he has a little limp. Got two eggs. We're getting about a dozen a day and we just give them to Sarah and yeah. That's pretty cool, but it's hard to really talk in there with those ducks. They won't shut up, but the other duck is doing really good. He's not limping, and I thought he was, we were going to have to put him down, but he made it through. Hey, Applejack. Hey, buddy. Trevet. Yeah, yeah. I did up getting the lawnmowers out the other day from the barn. That one works. That one doesn't. That was the one that was here when he moved in, and we just kept it. But I want to get this one running so I can pull my food wagon because I feed my horses over there sometimes. So yeah, I want to get that going, but I want to put it on this because this was not very good mower. This one's better. We'll just use this one for mowing, but the battery's dead on this one. So I want to take the battery and this one, put on that one to see because I, I charged that battery and it's not still working. So I'm going to try to put this one in that one and see if it'll work. Okay, it's the moment of truth. And nothing. Apps, yep, it is not the battery. It is definitely the lawnmower. Literally, will do absolutely nothing. It's a neutral. Yep. I was hoping it was the battery, but it's definitely probably the ignition or something else. I gotta do some meetings for school, but I will try to dig into this a little more later. Be like such an idiot right now so i just asked my dad if red is positive or negative i didn't even look in the battery because i always thought i remembered that this because the black ones are here so i thought oh maybe right there be right there but black is negative not positive I'm such an idiot i guarantee you i'm flip this around it's gonna work okay the real moment of truth nope i hooked the battery up right that's definitely that definitely not the battery definitely something else even if it's wrong or right hooked up it's still wrong still broken piece of crap yeah I don't know dad you'll have to look at this I hooked the battery up right and it still doesn't work okay well I'm gonna go inside guys cuz I gotta do some for school and then I'm gonna end the video Hey guys I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it Maybe hit the subscribe button. I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. More videos coming soon because we're stuck at home because of the coronavirus. Yeah, thank you so, so much. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, real outro. Hit it, Minnie. Boom.